hey, it's another great day here at Mac T Ford Edge, and I have a cocktail for y'all. I've done oil change videos, you all know that. I'm not going to show you how to drain the oil, and I'm not going to show you how to change the filter, but I am going to create my own oil cocktail. Yes, I've done a lot of oils. I've tested the Mobile One. I've tested the Red Line. I have tested a lot of different oils. And my next test, of course, for a full oil change will be a Kendall oil. But I decided, why not create a cocktail this time? How will the Ford Edge 3.5 Duratec handle different oils? So I went out and went to Wally World. I went and bought Super Tech, one quart. I bought one quart of Royal Purple. I bought the Kendall, I bought Valvoline, and since I have some leftover red line oil, I'm going to use that, and I have some leftover Mobile One. Now the thing about them all is that they are all full synthetic oils, and they are all 5W20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour one quart and I'll take one quart out of each one of these, one quart, six quarts, yes, six quarts, and I will put them in my engine and run it for 10,000 miles or my 200 hours generally. Yep. And we'll see how it does in 200 hours compared to all my other oil tests. What does this cocktail turn out to be? Will the additives get together and blow my engine up? Or will they all work together? efficiently to make the best motor oil there can be. After all, each one of these has different levels of different types of additives to help uh, fuel efficiency, to help uh, the oil to ache and uh, create better lubrication, handle heat, and everything else. They even might have a higher or lower flash point. That's the whole thing. How will these oils work together in this cocktail for 200 hours? So this is not my standard oil change. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to run it for 200 hours, and I will be back with you all in part two with the engine oil analysis in about uh, nine weeks or so. Depending on my driving, I will have, let's say, 200 hours in anywhere from uh, eight to 10 weeks. I will then send the report, the oil in, and it'll probably shock Blackstone when they get it because they probably never had anybody foolish enough to mix oils like this and send in a report. So it should be an interesting result on the oil analysis is what I'm counting on. And they might even send me something saying, what the heck are you doing? Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to dump this oil in here. I'll show you. You guys probably see people dump oil in, but I'll just go ahead and start dumping it in and uh, we'll get this oil analysis done once I get to that 200 hours. Let's, let's dump the oil in so you can see that I actually do it. Now to keep all of my uh, results as far as filtration equal, I am still using the Boss oil filter by Perlator, and it's the same filter I've been doing some of my other tests recently. Is, so nobody can say, well, Billy, you changed the filter. No, same filter, folks. Same filter, but this time with the cocktail. So. Hey, I don't know, think Lou can handle it? I bet you she can. And again, I've already changed the filter, drained the oil. Now all I gotta do is fill it up. Now we're gonna start out with the mobile oil. Brand new can, never been opened. And we will dump in one quart. That goes down to this first line here. There we go, one quart of the Mobile One. But we'll go ahead and put the Valvoline in there. Dumping the Valvoline in. And that is one quart of Valvoline. How about the Royal Purple? Let's dump that in. Never used Royal Purple before, so I thought it was a good opportunity. 
Oh yeah, that's some nice purple color there. We got the royal Can purple in there. Look at it, it's purple. Want to stick your finger in it? You don't want to stick your finger in it? And there we go, folks. Royal purple. How about some uh, Motocraft, a.k.a. Kendall Oil? What? Yeah, I think oh. it's the same thing just about. People can argue, but I'm thinking it's about, hey, they even got it sealed. Got their little seal on there. Oh, no, the purple is actually going to go away. And we're dumping the Kendall Oil in. Wow, it's like clear. And yeah, it's really clear, yellow. isn't it? It's clear yellow. It's a really clear color. And, ha ha, everybody's favorite. Who uses this stuff anyway? But anyway, they say it's full synthetic and it's got Dexos in it. Hey, something that's supposed to be good for it, right? So that comes out to two bottles with Dexos. Didn't even realize that. So we're going to go ahead and dump the Super Tech in. It pours a little different, but it's got a small far smaller a uh, hole on the bottle so yes it is fall isn't it sweetheart Dancing. all right so now I got to pour in a quart of the uh, red line I'm gonna oh, use the Kendall to fill it up because it has a mark on it Yep, that way we get a quart. There we go. I think we got a quart. Measure it. Yep, we got one quart, so we'll go ahead and dump that in. You having fun? Huh? You having fun with the leaves, CB? There we go, we got one quart of the red line in the Ford Edge. So folks, that is six. I see a flower that you run over the lawnmower. We got six in here, and I don't know what I did to cap for the red line. What'd I do with that? There it is. Got my assistant, she's helping me out. Right? All right, we got that in. We're going to go ahead and put the cap on, hopefully correctly, so it ain't upside down. There we go. We got that on there. But you just saw me put in six different types of oil in my Duratec on old Lulu Bell here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check the oil level, see what it runs at. If it explodes, you're going to have to buy a new A new what? I have to buy a new engine if it explodes? Yeah. You think I would actually explode my engine? No. <laughs> you think I'd do that on purpose? If you explode, remember, do not explode your engine. All right, she's full. As always, I put six quarts in. It'll probably settle a little bit. Uh, just so you all know, my last oil change uh, with the red line, I used three quarters of a quart and uh, what I got to do is I bought the valve cover for the front, but I broke the clip on the uh, coil. So I ordered the plastic leaf. replacement plug. This is a very wet leaf. Yes, sweetheart. And I got to replace the plug. So I'll do a video on how to replace the plug. Uh, then I'll do the valve cover. So you guys will get to see me re uh, rebuild an electrical connector for a coil uh, plug. And then, of course, that'll be another thing that I have never done before. So we'll get that done, but we'll get that valve cover replaced after this oil change and uh, then see if it helps reduce oil consumption in follow-on uh, type of oil changes. So anyway, this is Mac T Ford Edge. And of course, join up on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and of course, like the videos that you see. Help me out. Hit that like button. And then of course, Facebook. Join up on the Facebook group. 
All you have to do is click join. We get you in generally real quick and then you can join in the conversations that we have there and the information that we help all Ford Edge and Lincoln MKX owners out with. And last but not least, my fee hit the floor today and I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too. And following on after this, a little bit of couple one-liners from Mercy Girl and then of course some music from the band of one and then maybe some bonus footage on anything else I did like I don't know anything I was doing I got lots of stuff I do anyway have a great day thank you for watching Maxie's video what are you doing? remember to like and subscribe this is a Mercy Go production why is it rolling? the wind can you throw that away for me? You gonna throw that away for me? How about these bottles? You gonna help me pick up now? Clean up? You gotta clean up when you do work, right? You clean up your room? You do? When? When did you last clean up your room? Tell me. Yesterday you cleaned up your room. That's when you did it? Is it going to rain on us? So we probably should uh, get everything picked up then, right? Open the trash can. The blue one. The blue one. There we go. Recycle, right? Should I start the car? Got water in there? <gasps> Here, let me put you in there and find out. <laughs> Let me start the car and see what it does. It likes new oil, don't it? It likes new oil. It's nice and quiet. Yeah, I like the new oil. It's all quiet. What are you doing? You're not old enough to drive. Get out of there. <laughs>